yesterday we talked about the dead weight loss of monopoly now we're going to take our discussion further and we'll we'll talk about the advertising in monopoly now monopolist knows that with advertising his demand is going to increase right but advertising is not free it is going to come with a cost right so there is a trade off if he does advertising it is going to increase demand but there will be an increase in cost so is he fine with the cost which is going to come with advertising or not that's the that's the point and we will show that if there are two markets and both of them have the same elasticity of demand then the share of advertising in the total revenue will be higher in the market which is more sensitive to advertising right so this is what we're going to show right so there'll be a prof profit maximizing uh, problem of the monopolist with advertising is profit maximizing problem uh, of monopolist with advertising is going to be going to be revenue minus cost minus advertising expenditure revenue minus cost minus advertising expenditure so you can write your revenue as p into q minus tc q minus advertising expenditure minus advertising expenditure now your demand function is going to be the function of the price of the product and the advertising expenditure also right so your q is the function of the price of the product and the advertising expenditure and the advertising expenditure because you know na ki with more advertising you can have more demand you can you can even sell more right so this is a demand function and uh, it is increasing in in advertising and it is decreasing in price but a decreasing in price is very simple if there is an increase in the price of the product the demand uh, is going to fall but if the monopolist is going to make higher advertising expenditure then what is going to happen is that the demand is going to be more so this demand function demand the monopolist's product is decreasing in price and increasing in advertising expenditure and it is increasing in advertising expenditure right so can i write it like this p into q q which is the function of pna minus total cost which is the function of q q itself is the function of pna right like this okay so what i can do i can differentiate this with respect to advertising advertising expenditure which is del pi by del a first function as it is into derivative of the second function plus second function as it is right into Uh, the derivative of first function with respect to a हम यहाँ पे p 
is uh, that is not changing right so that is zero okay minus del tc by del q first thing so when t when a is going to change q is going to change when q is going to change tc is going to change right so del tc by del q but q itself is going to change with respect to a theek hai minus 1 is equal to 0 minus 1 is equal to 0 you with me right uh, so this is the chain rule which you have used this guy is the chain rule which you have used okay fair enough uh acha yahan pe you can also think like this that uh, advertising expenditure is affecting the uh, demand it is not affecting the price of the product intuitively if you want to think it like that okay this guy is the mc hmm? this guy is the mc fair enough so what i can write i can write this i can take up del q by del a common q which is the function of p and a common by del a that is equal to 1 right <clears throat> that guy is equal to 1 fair enough acha how do you write the uh, advertising elasticity right so you write it like this now that if there is a 1% change in the advertising expenditure how much percentage change is there in the demand you write it like that so if you want to write you can write uh, uh, your eqa as the percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price upon percentage change in price so basically what is this that is del q oh no not percentage change in price i'm so sorry percentage change in the advertising expenditure price so it is del q by del a into a by q into a by q fair enough so i can write from here what del q by del a is that is going to be e q a into q by a into q by a so i can write it like this p minus mc into eqa q by a, which is equal to 1 eqa into q by a, which is equal to 1 right so can i do one thing mm -hmm. this is nothing but del q by del a na? this guy is del q by del a okay what i can do is uh, can i write it like this p minus mc i can take it uh, here in the denominator so it is 1 upon eqa into a by q but i niche 1 upon q by a is what a by q right 1 upon q by a is what a by q fair enough acha what i can do is now divide both the sides by p dividing both sides by p theek hai so it gives you what p minus mc upon p equals to a upon pq a upon pq right 
अच्छा यू रिमेम्बर ना फ्रॉम योर लर्नर्स इंडेक्स वट इज लर्नर्स इंडेक्स सो इज दैट पी माइनस एम सी अपॉन पी इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन अपॉन इक्यूपी इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन अपॉन इक्यूपी यूर इनवर्स इलास्टिसिटी रूल आई थिंक इट देर इज नो ए हेयर If I'm not wrong, it is learners. So I can write this as minus one upon EQP is equal to one upon EQA into A by PQ. A by p into so we can write a upon p q p into q as uh, e q a upon e q p ठीक है so what is this a upon p q a is the advertising expenditure p into q is is revenue or sales so what is this this is advertising to sales ratio this is advertising to sales ratio right so this is the ratio of advertising elasticity upon price elasticity so they are saying so advertising to sales ratio is going to be higher in that market in case if there are two markets and they have the same price elasticity of demand so it is going to be higher in that market which will have higher advertising uh, uh, higher eqa eq is elasticity of the advertising so it means higher advertising elasticity would mean what that such a market will be more responsive to the advertising right so given two markets which have same elasticity of demand right advertising to sales ratio must be larger in the market which will have uh, which will be more sensitive to advertising aapko us market mein zyada advertising karna padega jo ki zyada sensitive hai advertising ko leke right okay so this is what i wanted to do in this class thank you beta